So Lumix sent out the new 100 mil macro. Let's test it out. How about that B-roll? It was okay, it wasn't too bad, right? Not too shabby. It's been a long time. It's good to see everyone again. Guys, check this out, I went to Montana recently. And let me just tell you, hey, we're gonna go see some bison, horses, cattle, cows, eagles. I got a story about an eagle. Anyways, long story short, I digress. You're gonna grab what lens? You're gonna grab a 7200, your biggest lenses, right? Wildlife, you're gonna see far, let's, let's, let's get the big lens. <sighs> Lumix sent out the new 100 millimeter macro. And let me just tell you, from this S series Lumix line, this glass is light, compact, and just powerful. And sharp as a tack. Sharp as a whistle? I don't know, one of the two. I am able to see into eyeballs with this thing. Now I know other macros can do this, right? But the fact of the point is that it is light, compact, and not heavy glass. Love it. It's, it's the win. It's for the win. Goes to the camera back, stays on the camera. I'm not breaking my back. It's not too heavy. My wrist is hurting in the 20 degree snow. It's great. And uh, I will use this definitely for all my macro shots. Not only did I do the whole trip on this lens and this glass, the whole B-roll segment was on the drone and on this 100 millimeter macro. So not everything has to be a macro shot. You can back up far enough and make it look like a wide shot, right? A little bit harder, not gonna be as sharp, but it works. Um, you will see in a later video, uh, I'll show you guys soon, I shot a whiskey bourbon commercial for Bozeman Spirits Distillery. It's a bourbon distillery in Bozeman, Montana. I shot a commercial for them and it was all on that macro. It was in this glass, the whiskey, pouring everything. Let me just tell you, this glass is crazy. It's small, compact, and you just wouldn't expect something this powerful and mighty in such a compact lens. It's great. And uh, like, like for instance, look here, these look wide, but here's a shot of me in slow mode, 60 frames per second, by the way, of me walking down stairs. You can see the snow being kicked. And yeah, it's 60 frames per second. Like everyone checks out, they're like, oh, that's not 120 or 90? I'm like, no, it's 60 FPS. But anyways, I digress again. Uh, this, look, here's a horse, and this, this horse is, this white horse is beautiful, but it did not like the camera. That was the only shot I can get of it. Every time I pulled out a camera, it looked down, or it would lay down. It was funny, it was like a big puppy. And my, speaking of puppies, my dog is barking. Calm down, Jackson. Anyways. Okay, back to the, back to the story. Uh, oh, the eagle story. <laughs> so, I saw an eagle for the first time ever, and guess what? I had zero glass or lens in my hands. 
at completely. I was in a Jeep. We rented a Jeep. There's a lot of snow and ice out there. We're driving and I look up. I'm like, oh, there's a hawk. I look, it's a, it's a panoramic moonroof. So I look up and it's huge. It's got a white head and white tips on the wings on the tip. And uh, it looked like five, six feet wide. And I'm like, that's not a hawk. That's an eagle. I have never seen an eagle outside of the zoo in captivity. I look up and I see an eagle for the first time ever. Crazy, it was beautiful. One of those times where like, you wish you had a lens or a camera on you to captivate it, but, or to capture it, whatever, one of the two. You get what I'm saying, right? And I did it. So it's stuck up here in the memory forever in the memory bank, but um, next time hopefully I have a lens for that. Wish I could have got a shot of that. That sucks. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't fast enough. Anyways, so this lens is crazy. It's everything that you need in one, whether you're new to filmmaking and photography or not. Uh, you can start off with this lens. I probably would still start off with like a 35 or a 50, but this right here, add it to your artillery ASAP. It's crazy, it's great. It's not heavy in your bag, not heavy on your wrist. When you're carrying the camera, you get me. If you're a filmmaker or a photographer, you get it. Anyways, the lens is crazy. Powerful, powerful. You can see in eyeballs with it. You do that with other lenses too, but like it's just the fact that it's so, so small, compact, it's crazy. Oh, the trip was great. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I have lots of stuff to show you and, and, and film and photography. Andrew Robles from Aesop Productions. Again, I thank you all. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, stay tuned because I have a lot more footage to show you, especially this whiskey commercial. I can't wait to show you the whiskey commercial from Bozeman Spirits Distillery in Montana. Bozeman, Montana. So, yeah, <laughs> you heard my eagle story. I'm slow with the camera, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> goodbye for now. What was that? I said goodbye, ta-ta for now. What am I, Winnie the Pooh? The Pooh, did you, you heard that, right? Yeah, that was embarrassing. No, no. I had to sit, relax. Ugh. I'm just kidding, it's great. It's great, it tastes great. Are you gonna have some or no?